welcome back to my channel. So today I have a grocery haul for you guys. Um, this is our weekly grocery haul. Um, we will eat all of this food probably this week and we will probably have really close to bear cupboards next week, unfortunately. But um, this is what I would consider a pretty healthy grocery haul. Um, I'll spin you around here and I'll show you all that we get. And then at the end, I will share our meal plan with you guys and hopefully that helps you guys. So I will start over here with um, our fresh produce. So I got some tomatoes. Um, I am going to um, make some pizza sauce for dinner tonight. Actually, we're having homemade pizza for dinner tonight. Um, I got some organic potatoes. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but potatoes are one of the highest pesticide holding vegetables um, by weight so I always try to get organic um, when I can for those um, we got some broccoli here we got I got two um, bags of onions we absolutely adore onions at our house um, so I will go through both of those this week um, I put onion in everything onion is a prebiotic uh, fiber. Um, it feeds uh, your good bacteria. So we like to eat lots of those. I got a couple beets. Um, I got two, two pound bags of carrots, um, some apples. Um, we got, we're going to have taco salad. So I got some lettuce. Um, I got some wild blueberries some avocados. Um, my husband, he loves Honeycrisp apples, so I had to get him, every week I get him Honeycrisps, no other ones. Um, I got some frozen um, strawberries and some frozen raspberries. Um, this, my husband adores this um, cereal here. He actually puts it in the yogurt and uses it almost like a granola um, for a snack. Um, and then I got two cans of pineapple. Um, we're going to put some of that on our pizza tonight. Um, and then just for a snack, I got a couple bags of cheese here. Um, I got a pound of butter. Um, this is our favorite salsa, just from Walmart, um, and then guacamole. I love these. Um, these I find at Walmart, um, but the, I love them for my kids' lunch, and the only ingredient in them is avocado. So that is really nice to have just to throw in their lunch. Um, the, I just have a few condiments here. I saw this at Walmart today, and this is awesome. Um, this is the first time I saw this, but... The ingredients on this, let me find them here. Awesome. Like nothing, no fillers. There's vegetables. That's how they like flavor this mustard. So we're going to give that a try. I'll let you know how it goes if we like it or if it's a pass. But um, some Chick fil A sauce. That's for my nephew. My nephew adores Chick-fil-A sauce and when he comes to my house he um, is always looking for something to put on his meat and he wants his special sauce and so I had to pick him up some. This is super good. It's like a spicy mustard. It's really good. Um, we love it. And then I needed a couple spices. I got some ground cumin and some cinnamon. Um, my kids love almond butter and this is the best almond butter at Walmart. Um, it is just one ingredient and it's dry roasted almonds. So they love that um, to go with their apples or whatever. I needed some oil. Um, we got some rice cakes um, here. Also put the almond butter on the rice cakes. It's an easy, quick snack. Um, this is, I'm gonna use this flour here for to make our pizza tonight. And of course we have to have some pop with our pizza cause it's a special night tonight. And I like the Zevia. I just feel a little better about my kids drinking that. This is a really good snack option. Um, the Lara bars, it is whole ingredients, um, in all of these, um, all of these bars here. And so I just feel really good about eating those, giving my kids those with no, no filler ingredients or anything weird. 
My husband, he loves this oatmeal. Um, so I pick that up every once in a while. Um, there was a killer deal on bacon, on this bacon. Um, there's no, no, no nitrates, no artificial ingredients, no preservatives. And this bacon, no joke, was $1.99 on sale. Um, so I picked up one, two, three, four, five, six of those because I can just throw those in the freezer and we have bacon. So that's awesome. Um, I got three butternut squashes here. We love butternut squash. Um, sweet potatoes. I got um, some of this sour, it's a gluten-free sourdough bread. If you look at the ingredients though, it does say that it contains wheat, but if you look at the actual ingredients, there is no gluten in those ingredients. And um, I think it's probably just made in a factory. Um, my kids are pretty sensitive um, to gluten and this does not bother them at all. So um, we got some wraps. We're gonna have taco night on Tuesday. This one's my husband's favorite. And then, um, this is the one that I get for the kiddos. It's got really good ingredients, and um, I like that one. We got some chips here um, for chips and salsa. That's one of our go-to snacks. Um, I got some drumsticks. Um, I love dark meat um, chicken. I think it's so much better tasting than uh, like your chicken breasts or think those are kind of dry and they don't have as much flavor as the meat on the bone. Um, I got lots of tuna here. I got a couple packages of sausage. This is not my favorite sausage to get, but you can't I couldn't find the one that I like. Um, I got some beef shank here to make a soup. Um, I got four pounds of ground beef and then I got these um, chicken apple sausages. I got two packages of those just like kind of to have in the fridge for like a quick lunch or snack or um, if I don't have enough leftovers to throw in a lunch. And then I got four bags of cauliflower, some cauliflower rice, a two pound bag of peas, um, two bags of peas and carrots, two two pound bags of broccoli. And then over here, we just have um, our non-food items. I just had to get some dish soap, dishwasher soap, and then this is my favorite face lotion. Love it. Um, and that's it. That is what we got for the week. And I will spin you around here and I will tell you what we're gonna do for our meals this week. So like I said tonight, I'm going to make a homemade pizza. Um, we are gonna have probably sausage and bacon, pineapple, onion on our pizza for dinner tonight. And then tomorrow night, um, we're gonna be gone, so I don't have to plan a dinner for that, so that's nice. And then um, Sunday, I'm gonna do a sheet pan meal with those drumsticks, probably I'll throw some broccoli and onion, um, some carrot, um, whatever, vegetables I want and just season them up very well um, just with some olive oil and spices and throw that in the oven. That's a really nice option. My oven has a delayed setting and um, so a lot of times I'll just throw something like that to get, um, together and then put it in the oven and then while we're at church I have the oven, the delayed start and so that way when we get home from church it's really nice because dinner is ready because well lunch is ready because um, we're always starving by then. Um, Monday, we're gonna be doing meatballs um, with some butternut squash and some broccoli. Um, and Tuesday, we're having taco night. So that's one of our family favorites, which I think is everybody's family favorite. Um, you can't go wrong with a taco. Um, Wednesday, we're gonna have, um, I'm gonna make like a hamburger stew. I'm gonna use that shank bone. Um, and it's gonna be like a hamburger and stew. Um, stew, I guess. Um, but I love to make either a soups and stews with bone and meat that are very good. Um, I try at least 
probably once or twice a week to have some sort of super stew that has that have bone connective tissues things like that um, because that is very good for your digestive system um, so I try like I said once or twice a week to have some sort of super stew that um, we are getting all of that um, rich collagen broth and things like that um, just to keep our guts really strong and healthy um, and then Thursday we're just gonna have um, just some roasted chicken um, with some sweet potatoes and another vegetable maybe um, I don't a cauliflower probably um, and then Friday I'm probably gonna do a breakfast because a breakfast meal because I have all that bacon um, so I do apart from like my grocery haul I get my eggs and my milk from a farm um, we usually get like five five six dozen eggs a week and we go through those each week um, what we do as a family is I usually make large dinners and then my husband and my kids um, they pack whatever we had for dinner the night before um, they pack that for their lunch um, and that's just a really easy because you're already making a meal and then you can just package up at night for their lunches for the next day and you did see I grabbed I usually grab a couple things just in case I we're hungrier than normal on those on like a supper night and we don't have enough for everybody for their lunch the next day um, I did grab like the chicken sausages or the tuna and I'll just kind of throw something together um, for those but other than that that is what we're gonna be eating this week so I hope you got some ideas um, I will put the total um, of how much our grocery haul here was I'll put it up here in um, so that's what we're going to be eating this week so let me know in the comments what you guys are going to be having what are some of your favorites um we like to do mainly whole foods um so if you guys have a couple um of your favorite recipes um or if there's anything that you would like to see me make um just let me know in the comments below and i will see you guys in the next video I tried the honey mustard for you guys to let you know what I think about it um, and it's good it's really good and I mean the ingredients because I looked in the video and I couldn't really read it um, when I shot it for you guys but all the ingredients are is organic vinegar water honey um, apple puree concentrate mustard seed carrot butternut squash sea salt turmeric paprika and spices so if you guys love mustard like we love mustard like we love all the mustards um give this one a try it's really good you'll love it